After running away from Esau because he tricked him out of his father's blessing, Jacob ran to his uncle Laban's house. He stayed with Laban for a month and worked for him, taking care of his animals. Laban wanted to pay Jacob for his work, so he asked Jacob what he wanted. Jacob asked to marry Laban's younger daughter, Rachel. She was beautiful, and Jacob loved her. Laban said that if Jacob worked for him for seven years, he could marry Rachel. So Jacob worked for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole years. But they seemed like a few days because he loved Rachel so much. The morning after his wedding, Jacob woke up next to, not Rachel, but her sister Leah. Laban had tricked Jacob into unknowingly marrying Leah. He did that because he wanted his older daughter to be married first. Jacob was furious with Laban. Laban told Jacob he could marry Rachel too, if he waited one week and also worked another seven years. And so Jacob did. He waited a week and married Rachel, even though a man should only have one wife. And he worked for Laban for another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole years. Jacob and Laban were both tricksters, and because of their sins, they caused great big trouble for each other and their families. But the good news is that God can even save the trickiest of tricksters, like Jacob and Laban. In fact, Jacob and Leah had a son named Judah. And Judah's family grew and grew until one day a very special great-grandson of Judah was born, Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for tricksters like Jacob and Laban. And even better, on the third day, he rose from the dead. Thank you.